Blue Heavens Paranormal, Beyond Shadows, Ghostly Narratives, Episode 5, Part 1. The Murphy Log House, St. Martin, Ohio. Hello, so we are Blue Heavens Paranormal and we investigated this place behind us. But we just want to say that a lot of the things that occur in this house have nothing to do with the owners of this cabin. So the depths and layers of stuff that we uncover here have nothing to do with the people that own this cabin. No, absolutely not. And we're very thankful that the family that owns the yes. cabin allowed us to do an investigation yeah, here. And we do thank uh, Joe and Betty yeah. who are here as the, the deceased, but they're the caretakers. So we yeah. thank you for letting us be here on your property. And we thank the family as yes. well. So thank you yes. very much. Thank you guys very much. We got a piece of ourselves back today. Yes, it's great <laughs> yeah. and wonderful. Yeah, so thank you guys, enjoy it. Meet the Blue Heavens paranormal crew. I'm, hi, I'm Elliot. I'm Kess. <laughs> Hold the applause. I'm Emily. All right, now get out, Emily. Fit check. <laughs> I'm a Sigma man. <laughs> Watch <laughs> out. Okay. okay. Husband Scott. Husband Scott. <laughs> Boyfriend Dave. Hello. <laughs> and that was our little team today. Let's begin with the downstairs investigation. Hey, para-abnormies. I don't know. I'm Angie. I'm Michelle, paranormal friends, <laughs> y'all. We are at the Murphy Cabin in St. Martin, Ohio. And this is a return. This is where we found Roger. Uh, we found Roger upstairs. This was the first place a spirit came through Michelle channeling. Um, and this is just going to be a mindfuck of an episode. We've already discovered a lot of things oh, that are mindfucks, but it's just going to get deeper and deeper. So come get deep with us. <laughs> We pulled cards for our investigation, and the cards pulled for divine guidance were veteran, Marcus, successful, and wrong place, wrong time. Cards pulled for the priestess were murdered, successful, and healing. Cards pulled for the priest, decapitated, Marcus, successful, divorced, healing. Cards pulled for Baphomet, portal, lost boss murdered. When Angela was a kid, every year around September or October, I would have a dream that our family drives to some mansion in the middle of the woods. Our parents never seemed pleased with having to go, but Michelle and I were always excited to be able to see this person again, even though it always ended in confusion and chaos. I'd come across a pool of blood and bones in the woods and a throne and a being sat upon it. It was a man's body, but with a goat's head. I was never afraid of the being, but I always felt really scared afterwards, and I never understood what this being was and what this dream represented. This being is Baphomet. It's a Loki aspect that was decapitated here, and a goat had placed upon him to mock his divinity and to attempt to remove his intelligence. Before we entered this cabin, we went to the woods and we freed the spirit of Baphomet from the hidden portal. This was the only way to begin the freedom process of the spirit. We asked the priest what he wanted to do to us. He wanted us to die and was waiting to decapitate us. Cards after asking how the priest feels about Baphomet being freed. He wants to murder us and trap us in a mirror. We are in an addition of yeah, the house, right? We are not in the actual house yet because of the threats that are being sent our way. Um, and maybe we put a warning too because there are going to be a lot of threats. There's going to be a lot of words because this is Loki because they're wanting to do some stuff in here. And I want to show the reason I'm letting them do this to show that some of these paranormal people. I won't mention names because all of them do this. Try to put the scare into you about objects and things and reliving the past. And I'm going to be here to let you all see a physically two mediums. And that's why these girls are mediums in their own right. And you'll see getting channeled full on lightly. You could be full on channeled at this one too, Angie. But the show take the scare out of this. Yes. Even though this is scary for them, I want to take the scare out of other people to yes. see. So like you will see, I'm just putting a warning because we got some angry beings in here. Viewer discretion advised. This video contains discussions of violence that may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised and individuals sensitive to such content are encouraged to use their discretion before proceeding. I think it's recognized, so 
like I'm still feeling the sad energy. But Look what yes, her shirt I, said. I, all... I feel like it's my shirt says all hope is gone on it. I felt like I had to read and that. It like, makes so much sense. Oh, Mrs. Because that's how it felt. What's the I name? That's how he would have felt. That's how he would have felt. What's the name of him again? Yeah. Baphomet. B A B H O M E T. I don't know if this has a relation to it at all. Angels mm -hmm. lie to keep control. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's very true. Because these were priests that were trying to act like they knew exactly oh, what was right, but they didn't. On. So that yeah. says a lot. She it does. does. <laughs> you know, so she she knows she knows she knows she's the lead singer. Call it your parents! No, no, shit. Cosmo! Cosmo! All right. All right. So, all right. Right. so let's get into our prayer and then let's get into this because this is a wild ride and I think we're all ready. In the presence of the divine and benevolent forces we humbly gather. We invite God, archangels, ascended masters, spirit guides. Do you really? Yes. Do you? Oh, absolutely, sir. <laughs> Holy Spirit, Christ consciousness, Loki, Archangel Lucifer, Archangel Metatron, Krishna, Lokeus, Marcus, our friend Cosmo, and other spirits who join our divine team of Lazarus to surround and protect us. As we reach out to the spirits seeking the light, may your love and guidance illuminate their path. Grant us the strength to be a conduit of healing and guide these souls towards the divine embrace of the eternal light of the divine creator, sacred mother and sacred father. Amen. God help you. Oh, yeah. God help you. Help you. Huh. Wow. You were told not to come back. I was told not to come back. I was also told to come back. So. <laughs> Oh, you're about to see some torture on Loki. Would you like to watch it? Would you like to watch it again? Again. Right. Would you like to watch it again? Does it help you feel good? Oh, it does make me feel great. To take the life of something else. Yeah, I do, because I need that magic. You don't and need God that. God would have given it to you. No, he yes. did not. He, he did would. not give me he, nothing. No, I'm saying he would have. Loki's a sinner. He is a sinner, and he has been helping us. Everybody's a sinner. No, man, they're not. They have been saved by the holy light. They are not. Loki well, was saved by the holy light. He was not. He's a sinner. He got my wife pregnant. What excuse is that? He laid hands upon my wife. I had to kill her to save face. So is that fair to me? Were you a good husband? I was a great husband. I saved you when your family abused you. I took you in. But you know we have a connection to Loki also. No. You I'm are sorry. not. Talk to me. I'd like to go and see what I'm going to do to him. You're so bold now. Wait till what you see what I'm going to be doing to him. How is it fucked up? Do you consider yourself like a being of light? I am a being of light. I protect this place by the Holy Spirit oh, yeah? of Jesus Christ and Mary. They are here as well. They're here under mock circumstances. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah, don't laugh at me. Don't be laughing at me. I trusted you. I had trusted you. It's a different life. It's a different life for you. It's not a different life for me. It could be if you go into the light. What light? The light that's there. No, the light, the light whatever, the light, whatever, the light. I'm going to be going in here now. Would you like to follow me or we just want to talk about the light? All right, I guess I have to get the camera going then. Well, you do what you got to do. You do what you got to do. Would you like me to bring Loki forward? <laughs> you bring him forward. <laughs> Don't you love this? Don't you love it? The stomping? Yeah. Charles Brewer like this stomping? Is he a fan of this? <laughs> All right. Follow me. Would you like to follow what's about to happen? It's like a circus. Me and the men have been waiting. Okay. So Lucifer. Oh, I didn't expect him to come forth, guys. This is my fault. I'm sorry. sorry. What does this mean for us? Nothing. He's just putting threats out. 
Ernie, can you block this for a second? Does everybody see a mask over here? Tell me when you all see it. A mask? I see a black thing protecting. Oh. So there, everything's yes. in here. All right. It's called trickery. Let him say whatever. All right. This is called trickery. All right. We're going into the illusion, are we? Yeah, let's we're going go into the illusion. All right. There we go. All right. We are all protected under divine love. Are you ready for the show? Are Let's you ready go, sir. for the show? <laughs> Come to my place. Come and see my place. Come and see where the action's going to happen. Can you see it? Probably not. Probably not. Probably just as well, right? Probably. Probably just as well, right? <laughs> Where is your God now? He's still here. Yeah. He's still within the illusion. No yeah. illusion excludes God unless you believe it does. Oh, okay. All, all right. right, all right. So what do you want to, what's in this illusion? What what's in do? this illusion? Yeah, what do we got? Oh, okay. All right. What's in this illusion? Loki, come forth. Come forth, evil. Come forth. Can you, like, move come this around forth. so it gets people? It's all right. It's okay. When you walk to the chair, get her body in the chair. Yeah, push her. I don't know. Get him in them. Oh, I want them to feel all of it. Just like he did before. Maybe they forgot. I don't think you really forget this type of horror, but we need to play it back out again. Oh, we are going to play it back now, ma'am. You're going to watch it. Like we did before. All right. Why aren't you doing anything, Loki? Come on, tick tock, time to check in, come on. Why don't you go, come on, get out. Tick tock, you don't have to hide here. Men, get over here, tie him down. Tie him down more, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Say goodbye to your sister and say goodbye to Loki. Please. No, I don't think so. Oh, I think so. I don't think so. I think so. I call in Jesus Christ and Mother Mary. Oh, to stop whatever. This if this is who you pray to, <laughs> that's what I pray to. Pray for the great teacher to give me insight as we move forward in this illusion. This is the teacher. Your sister and Loki are fighting right now. Okay. You notice she's still. Yes. But they got me here. Marcus is here and so is Lucas. Now, you want to see what uh, we have in store? Okay, let's get over here. You are the priest, right? Get over here. I'm sorry that we had an affair. We felt an attraction and a love for something, and we didn't know what to do about it. We didn't know how to come forward. We felt shame, we felt guilt, we knew what we had done, but we knew that we did it out of love, and we knew that you couldn't see it. We didn't mean to hurt you, you were good to us. It wasn't about that, it was just about a connection. Sister, out, please. I hope everything you said to me just don't let him hurt her, please. You're not allowed to touch her. That was a part of her name. If it comes to that, we're done. 
That's not happening. That's not what this is about. That's not fair. I ain't falling in love with you. You're not apologizing for that. If you gotta keep me, that's fine. So just don't hurt them, please. Just don't hurt my girl. This is why you can't save me in life. That's why you don't incarnate with us. You can't. You can't. Your spirit is not allowed to jump into another vessel because it's being hidden in you. Yes. Can you see? Please describe what you see. I see a bloody, fleshy mess that is wrapped in chains and it's wrapped in what looks like mocked bandages. Like they attempted to plug some blood holes, but it was just out of ignorance. And so Look at your sister. Of... Look at your sister. Tell me what you see. I see the same. What do you think they did to the police station? One part's got to go. The other part didn't. So she didn't get to go. <laughs> Here's the deal. If you release me, if you release me, all the what you guys work for goes. <laughs> but if I stay here, you guys can continue. I don't want you guys to lose what you've already got. I was good to look at this, and this is what he does to me. She told me she's willing to just give that all up. Me too. I'm not willing to let you do that. Well, if we only had it because you're in hiding, then it's not worth having. It would be your power, not ours. I think it's okay is why he did this to me, but I'm so good to him. Okay. <laughs> I love you so much. You hurt me so bad. Yeah. We had kids. We had kids. been like this fight between the priestess and Loki aspects. It's like everybody just needs to realize they're all part of the same energy. We all fit together. We're not one against another piece. It's the same puzzle. It's the same puzzle. We need to start acting like it. I didn't mean to hurt you. We didn't mean to hurt you. In this life, I committed the same sin. I, I had a desperation in me. You don't go out to harm people. Half of it. He put me in here to channel. He said if the priest must kill Loki, then he must feel it too. He must feel it. <laughs> he didn't have to actually feel it's all. You both love all over again, and I don't want to be hurt anymore. I don't want anybody to hurt anymore. Half of it threw this at me. He said, if you want to throw the magic, then I'll throw it at you. It's an eye for an eye. <laughs> he always, he always left. He never stayed. He always left me to take care of her. At least if he was trapped, he can't go nowhere, can he? He can't hurt me, can he? He can't leave her and me, can he? I'm sorry. Everybody suffered in this. There's not one person that hasn't suffered in any of this. So why continue to suffer? What's the point? Because once I do anything, he'll kill me. And then you guys will talk to me. What am I going to be after that? Why wouldn't we talk to you? Because 
got some priest attention shit. I understand. We are all fucked up. You just have to stop. I ordered it to happen. I ordered it to happen. Then stop allowing it to happen. Stop allowing it to continue. Be forgiven. The Loki will kill me. No, he won't. No, he won't. There's a stalemate here. I'm gonna hurt your sister. I'm no one wants to be much. hurt anymore. I'm so over this. I'm so over it. It makes me so fucking sad. The divine beings come here as teachers of love and they get caught up in some of the nastiest rhetorical shit. It's gotta stop. Oh, I let him go. He's gonna hurt me. And I'll deserve that. You guys won't use me. And if people watch that video, nobody will talk to me anymore. It's an aspect. It's not really you. It's an aspect of you. It's just a life that went downhill and you went with it. That's not who you are all the way. It's one fucking shard. Okay, I promise I will not go after you. Just let me go. Just gotta end. Let me go, please. Just, if you would, if you might let Michelle go, please. I won't go after you. I got my I won't leave ever again. I won't ever leave ever again. I won't leave you anymore. And it's just through so Let me go. Let her go first. And let me go. Please. If not, just let her go. The divines all oh, you know the magic that they want, Angie. It's the magic of the divine. That's what they want. It's open to anybody. It doesn't it's just fucking be good if you get it. That's all good to fucking do. Don't lie. Be a good person. Do good things for people. And then he'll give you spiritual gifts. That's, it's all over the Bible. That's what she did. She was so wholesome. And she just gave and gave. And you had healing hands. And they took us both. You're the one, Angie, that the spirit passed. She's the one that's been damned with me. If you notice that. Yes. <laughs> can it end here? Yes, it can. It ends up to case, unfortunately. Don't I'm trust the case to do the right thing. I don't him. trust him to do the right thing. He hasn't so far. He's had life for me, guys. This is George. I was an aspect of you, okay? You remember me, right? I killed a woman. Come on. You're my aspect. Come on. I had to hear right. Imogene cry. Come on. You don't do this. This is Charles. Come on, sir. Come on. Don't do this anymore. The organization would like to keep going. That is fine. If they want to right. sit, that is fine. We never say their name. No, we don't. Never. No, no, madam. But do you see how she's hurting for her sister? She's always got this loss from her sister. Okay, so you love her. You love her so much. You love both of these women. Marcus, I think now would be great for you to talk. Before I go, you be careful, but yes. Okay, I love you so much. Don't hurt mommy, please. Just let Papa Loki go. Please, I love him so much. I love my moms. Okay, I know you got it in you to be good. This is just a part. Just, you see the light, turn, turn around and see the light. Just like I did. I forgive your aspect for kicking me in the head. I forgive you. If I can forgive that, if you can forgive. It's old news, she loves you. They are both love you. Yes, we all learned to love you. Just please let her go. That for me is free. He's so nice. I asked the priest and God's made to turn around to see the light. You see the light? You see the light in God's name. Turn around and just see the light. This is your case. I ask that please turn around and see the light like the illusion. And once you leave, Loki will be free and so will she. 
This has to end, this has to end now. I cannot continue this illusion. I'm only mixed with Marcus right now, otherwise I'm still in that illusion. I ask to be forgiven for my sins and my part in this. We ask to be forgiven for our sins and our part in this. Okay, I throw the aspect of the lady down the stairs that she is free, that she is no longer burdened by falling. I ask that all the magic in this place is removed because it did not belong here to begin with. This family does not deserve that. And I apologize on behalf of the family and their land and the Indians. I apologize. Loki, I love you and I apologize to you. Please just understand my role. As soon as he goes to the right, all will be well again. Everything will be restored as it was. Actually, walk yes. out of here. He he came came to walk. You are and Michelle. Okay, yes. tell me, Michelle. Well, all okay. He went to the light. He apologized, catching the market. He went to the light. Are the girls okay? Everybody's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Bath has been released, right? Yes. Okay. That was the first thing. Now, do you understand what happened? Yes. There's one spirit left. I was only able to get one to go. Okay. Now, you see me free before I even get Yes. Up. You see me not in shackles No, anymore. I don't see any shackles. I don't see the blood. I don't see the... I see restoration. Okay. I'm going to make sure. Now, okay, you see, it's been an aspect that did that to me for reason. I never knew him better. He talked about how angry he was that you left all the time, that you left him with Michelle and stuff. I didn't think it really went to a, like a life like this. So I was a long time with a little life. Okay. Now this is where the other bear is going to come in, because okay. now he's ready to come in. Okay. I'm going to walk and stand up. Okay. I can you want to go back to where it's light? Yeah, I can't walk. I know I'm channeling, but yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to go this in the wrong time. Yeah. <sighs> I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, I'm glad we're all okay. Let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> I was able to free you. Oh, <laughs> good sweetheart. I would See what this looks like before I see it again. Oh man, there's a group of people. I'm gonna go join it. 
Hi, group of people. All right. Oh, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. Oh. This is hurricane something. Yep. Do you even not scarred up or anything like that? I better find the roses. <laughs> oh, and it's like a heart with a keyhole. <laughs> of course it is. Of course you met by the roses. <laughs> yeah. And he designed it. So. Uh, David? Yeah, he designed this. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wow. He designed it. Hell of a job, dude. He has the original. This is Michelle, the original picture. Huh. Wow. Well. Was like I forget how to do anything now. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is Loki. I want you to feel. I really need to feel the energy to see if it's different. I, mean, I feel completely different. Did you guys go upstairs? No, no we're not. No. I okay, because okay. I know this sometimes says. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it before. As you walk before you go into that room, up here. It looks like somebody drew a cross in something tar or something smeared. And then on this side, there's a symbol. Huh. Okay. The one looks like in, at somebody drew like the cross with Jesus and the N-I or I or whatever right. on this side. Then over here, it looked like something else was scribbled. Yeah. But it looks like it's sweated from like the pine tar, like somebody did something to that. Mm -hmm. I didn't notice that before, and I just noticed that when we, me and Scott went up there, I like, looked at it like, what the fuck's that? Well, <laughs> but that's part of the adventure, wonderful. Feel a little different now? You feel better? Yes, I feel Yeah, you guys weren't having a good one. Yeah. yeah, this wasn't great. This no. wasn't the best experience. It was. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is content-wise. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, but oh. uh, in the other room, I saw something fucking demonic crawling towards me, and I just couldn't look at the ground. I couldn't look at all. Like, in that little area, yeah, I was seeing pictures and everything. I can't, can't even. I feel like I need to go, but I don't want to. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to head upstairs if you if want you to. Go, it's, go, it's cray cray. Go. Watch the next part of this video, Beyond Shadows Ghostly Narratives, Episode 6, where we explore the upstairs of the Murphy Log House in St. Martin, Ohio. Hey, para-abnormies, I'm Angie. And I am Michelle. We are Blue Heavens Paranormal. And we are looking for haunted locations to come to so we can allow spirit to be channeled. And my lovely sister here, Michelle, she physically channels the spirit so they can share their story with us. And it's in real time that you get to communicate with these spirits. We can pull them out of loops. We can cross them in the lights. We can do all kinds of stuff. And it has just been an amazing journey. So if you have a haunted location and you want to communicate with the spirits within it, we are the people you want to connect with. How do you connect with us? Sisters at blueheavens.net. Or you can check us out at Blue Heavens 3 on our social media platforms. Or you can check us out at Blue Heavens Paranormal on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you. Be kind, be brave, be hopeful, be helpful, be loved. You are loved. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, check us out at Blue Heavens 3 or Blue Heavens Paranormal on our social media platforms or at blueheavens.net. Subscribe to our channel and give us a follow.